the main misconception that people have with our relationship is that he's gay. I want to show you this couple, Jesse and Cassidy. Jesse grew up in a very intolerant and toxic biker family, where his own father said, if you ever date a trans woman or a man, I'll disown you. One thing I was definitely taught was a natural woman is who you're supposed to be with, and if you're with anybody else, you're gonna be out of this household and out of this family. Jesse has a rough past. He has been an addict for many years and has on multiple occasions tried to end his own life. But meeting and dating Cassidy has, according to Jesse, saved his life. They are now engaged and publicly talk about their relationship. The main misconception that people have with our relationship is that he's gay. So Cassidy is a trans woman and she still has her male genitalia. Claiming it's not gay for your fiance to sleep with you, a biological male, doesn't sound right to me. I wouldn't say it's a misconception because from a biological perspective, you guys are a gay couple. I'm only talking about technicality. I know you're living your life as a woman and you pass extremely well. And I know that from a social perspective, people will not perceive you as a gay couple. That's valid. It's not valid, I hate that word. That's also the truth. We were about three or four messages in and she said, hey, I just wanna let you know, I'm sorry if it changes the dynamic of things, but I'm a trans woman. And I said, no, 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 sweetheart. You don't have to apologize for that. You're just a special kind of woman. I get what you're saying. You're attracted to her, you think she's special? That's cool. But please, I hope you know that she's not a different type of woman. She's a biological male, so she's a special man, I guess. It sounds weird. A different type of man. I've received a whole load of hate comments, being like, you'll never be a woman, how, how dare you, a lot of religious comments too. Claiming you'll never be a woman is not hate, it's the truth. Of course, this fact can be used against you in a hateful way, and I think it's awful, mostly because there's nothing wrong with being a man. <laughs> Cassidy, I'm only saying this to you because I used to think this way too, but biology is not hateful. Biological reality hurts us mentally. That's true. Well, mostly in the beginning of our transitions, but biological reality is not always pleasant to acknowledge. We should face this fear of acknowledging our biology because in the end, it will liberate us make us feel better. This one says, sir, lipstick and heels doesn't make you a woman. You can't change biology, you can't change chromosomes, you are just an insecure guy who didn't accept his body, so you did plastic surgery. Keep living in your fantasy. I don't understand why people are hating on this relationship. They're both consenting adults. They're obviously happy being together and all, and even if this is kind of gay, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I really condemn the hate they got, but there is some truth, just a little bit, to the hate they got. Cassidy will always be a man, will always be a biological male, same thing. And no matter what she's doing to her own appearance, doesn't change the fact that they're in a gay relationship. Again, from only a biological perspective. But it's not true that she transitioned due to insecurities. She hopefully transitioned due to a mental disorder called gender dysphoria. She can't help it, she didn't choose to deal with gender dysphoria, she just wanted to feel better mentally, and it seems like the transition worked out for her. Cassidy educated me and said, no, 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 honey, you're straight. Don't you look at me like a woman? I said, yeah, she's like, so where do you find the word gay? And that's when I realized I'm not gay at all. I'm an alpha male that's attracted to femininity, and that's exactly what I got right here. Girl. The main definition of what it means to be a heterosexual man is not a biological man attracted to femininity. A straight man is a biological male attracted to biological females. Female, feminine, two different things. Why do you even think you're gay, honey? Well, maybe it's because he's sometimes sucking your eggplant. Watch this. No, not watch. Like, <laughs> listen to this. But then you also have acknowledged that you'll suck her. Correct. Absolutely. How do you square that in your mind? Man, this is a good one. I really just look at her like a woman, whether she has a dick or not. Personally, like it, it even looks girly to me. A man sucking an eggplant is kind of gay. I think that's why people are questioning how straight this relationship is. In this podcast with No Jumper, Jesse has talked about how he slept with men in order to get the thing he was addicted to. And I get it, he was an addict and he would do anything to get this, but the act itself is gay. I think it's cool that Jesse's so open and confident about dating a trans woman. I know it's taboo in certain communities to date a trans woman as a man, and it looks like Jesse and Cassidy are happy, and that's great. But the tiny problem I do have 
is how they're not able to acknowledge what they really are a homosexual couple using technical terms. I think it's a problem for two reasons. Number one, it's not good for anyone's mental health to deny what you really are, who you really are. Number two, it might not be their intentions, but they are low-key changing the definitions of what it means to be straight and gay, which I think is quite intolerant. Oh, and also changing the definition of woman. She has a girly eggplant. Girly it's different dick. than mine. Right. I got a big <laughs> My OnlyFans is called the hung plumber for a reason. She's got this tiny little thing from the hormones. Well, yeah. That's f***ing high, no, bro. I'm, I love it. I can't help smiling because I think he's so adorable. He is so happy. <laughs> he doesn't give an F about what people think. And I respect that a whole lot. The reason why I think they're not actively trying to change any definition is because in this podcast, they're having a casual conversation about their relationship, not other people's. And my personal opinion is, I think that Jesse is bisexual. And I think the other men who only want to date trans women are more bisexual than gay. I don't know about Jesse, but most of these men would never have sex or date men who look like men. They're attracted to femininity, maybe even more than females. They're into like a half and half thing. The other reason why I'm not calling these men gay is because gay men are not attracted to trans women who have transitioned, even if they still have their eggplants. Because they look too much like women and they're not attracted to that. As I said, I think it's really cool that Jesse's so open about being in a relationship with a trans woman because where he comes from, it is super frowned upon. And I still see him as a masculine man. I don't think he becomes any less masculine just because he dates someone who's a biological male. Personally, I have a good feeling about these two and I wish them all the best. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support me and my channel, you can become a member or I have my PayPal link in the description down below. Remember to follow me on social media. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in the comments. Peace out.